My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? Do you have rocks in your hands? James, Zach, I do. Second week of summer. Maybe. I don't think so. What about uh, what about Zach? Zach won a lot of tickets. Big wheel. Are you going to put up the gator pick? Jake, can you tell me about the sports? James, we're doing something near and dear to our heart. Oh, these guys only talk about the Yankees. 84-year-old. You heard that right. 84-year-old broadcaster, John Surley. Uh, thank you. Top nine, two outs, game on the line, foul ball. It hits him in the booth, and he has an all-time reaction, and then being the professional he is, he gets back in for the next pitch and finishes the game. Knocks his glasses off his face. He's- Ow! Ow! His partner in, in the booth, Susan Waldman, in the ninth inning, she goes down to the field to prep for the interview with the player. So he's solo. No one can take over the mic. He clocks the ball and he sees that's above my head. That's foul ball. He doesn't know it's going to come back, land in front of him, bounce, hit him in the head, and he lets out. Ow! 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 Three great ows. Ow! 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 It really hit me. I just am so envious of people listening on the radio. Yeah. Didn't have the visual or know what was happening or real and just driving alone in their car. Be like, wait, what? Did he just get hit by the ball? There's no way. Because he, he just went got right back to play ball. by play. Yeah. 84. Picture getting hit with something and then multiply it 84 times. That's basically what that is. That's age math. Yeah. If this was my grandpa, I'd be nervous. Age math. You going to put that on the screen? Age math. Jim, this yeah. almost a breakdown is sporty in and of itself. Adam. Hadwin, is that how you pronounce his last name? Adam Hadwin, which is kind of a tough last name. Hadwin, Hadwin past tense. That translates to lost. lost. Adam lost. Blew it. He's trying to celebrate the victory Nick Taylor achieved at the Canadian, Canadian Open. So we've got a couple Canucks here. This is the Canadian tour event. Canadian hasn't won it since 1954. And so these are a pair of Canadians. Ooh. So he comes out to celebrate his buddy. 72 foot putt? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool. The whole thing is pretty cool. Except for Adam Hadwin getting decked, which is actually really cool. I'm fine with it. Yeah. You want the security to be tight. You don't want random people running on the uh, the green, spraying you with champagne. You got to let the security guy know. It was one of those beautiful online moments where for the first, the clip comes out and instantly is like, oh my God, this guy gets popped, which our society will always love. And then everyone's like... I think that's golfer Adam Hadwin who just got rocked. And it was. So that was it was kind of a, a beautiful thing. That's the problem when you have the public and the fans dressing the same as mm. the players. You know, if everybody at a baseball game showed up in full uniform and then stormed the field, it'd be a lot more confusing for security. Don't give the people ideas. As a golf fan, stop dressing like you're playing. Dan Rourke, full uni. How do I look, huh? Back to the sports. The more sports. More of the sports. More sports is the segment. Oh, DraftKings does more sports. They do a lot of sports. That would be a pretty good... DraftKings does more sports. That'd be... Mm. Mm-hmm. Jim, we had a couple pitchers empty the tank. We're deep in college baseball season. The Canadian stuff was last story, Jake. <laughs> We're going to your Johnny Hopkins and my Stanford uh, because we had two pitchers throw over a buck 55 to help their teams advance. It's a lot of pitches. And and Keith Law, who describes himself as the fun ruiner or something like that on Twitter, he tweeted out like no pitcher has thrown more than 150 pitches in the game this century because it's bad for arms and was kind of like poo-pooing. And the pitcher himself... Gabriel Romano, he responded and said, it's the last game of my baseball career. I'm a fifth-year grad student. I'm going to try to send my team to the winner-take-all game. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It was my call. And everyone's like, poo, ha-ha, Keith. Because people like doing that to Keith because he is a self-proclaimed fun ruiner. We've gotten so caught up as with these pitch limits and these rules that we forget, like even at the high school level, or the like middle school level, like, can't do this, can't do this. Why? This kid's got no chance of playing professional ball. So let him have fun. I shouldn't be comparing these guys to Randy Johnson, but there's a series, like, Randy Johnson for a month threw 140 pitches a game. So, like, and he kind of played healthy. So we don't have all the, like, actual throwing science figured out. Ad for Randy Johnson? Throwing science. Throwing science. You have an animal story you put in here for the not sports. I do because my wife, Caitlin, is terrified of this specific thing happening. Mm. And I'm like, I don't think it happens that often. That starts with the guy on the boat, the captain, I'm guessing his name, radioing to cap the heavens of whoever, whoever listens to the guys on the boat. 
And he says, we're under orca attack. That's mm. so cool. We're under orca attack. And yeah, orcas in this one area are just attacking boats like crazy. It's like, it was like 100 a year in 2021, 200 a year in 2022. And we're already past that this year. And they have tracked it. I think it's this one group of 20 to 30 mm. Iberian orcas. And they're just breaking the rudder off the boat and attacking the boat. And now there's three theories of why this might be happening. One is the classic uh, ghost tail. One of their orcas got uh, injured by a rudder of a boat and they're uh, Fighting avenging her. Pod. Yeah. The second is that they really like the peaceful waters uh, during COVID and, and quarantine sure. and want it to go back to that. Yeah. And the third is they're just bored and having some fun and this is a new game right. they're playing. Which one do you like the most? I'm option four. That's a combination of two and three. You're out on the revenge. Yeah, they don't. Well, it's kayaker. That close scary. That's my nightmare. <sighs> It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of this week. My vote is Noah, but I don't... Noah? He turned around his academics recently, so I'm really proud of him. Is that true? Yeah. Call Joe's. Jimmy. Is it true that Noah turned around his academics? Yeah, he did. How did it happen? I mean, I'm actually pretty surprised. He turned it around. It was like the greatest comeback I've ever seen. Did you promise him like an Xbox or something? I told them that I'm going to get them a bike, you know, if they do well in school. Should get so, them a tandem bike. A what? Like a tandem bike, a two-seater. They have to ride out the same bike. No way. They would hate that. That's, that's why it's funny. Well, Noah got employee of the week for his... Turn around. Yes. Can I tell him? Record a video of you telling him. Yeah. There you have it. Sorry. To See you next week. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB. Bet $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Hey, Noah, guess what? Guess what? Because you did really good in school and you came back... You got employee of the week at John Boy Media. <laughs> Are you crying? No. I'm just happy. Nice. <laughs> so they put a picture up of you in the office. And you got employee of the week because you made the biggest comeback in school of all time, Noah. That's How do you feel about sweet. that? <laughs> happy, excited. And what are you going to tell Jake and John Boy? Because he gave you Employee of the Week. Thanks. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a sweet video. <laughs>